What's up YouTube, it's Beer and Food here and today we're making bar me. Let's go. So I wanted to make my daikon and carrot pickle first. So I chopped it up into chopstick size lengths around three inches long and then I extracted the water using a salt and sugar. I massage it until the pool of the juice uh, forms. It's ready when the daikon bends like that. It's about 10 minutes or so. And then you rinse the solution off under cold water uh, on, with a colander for a couple of minutes or so. Uh, whilst that's draining, I prepared my pickling sauce, um, which was a mixture of sugar, white vinegar and water. So there's about 104 grams of sugar in there. To that, I did the distilled vinegar 300 mils I'm just trying to get the last few drops in there and what I did was I whisked it up in the vinegar solution until the sugar dissolved then I just chucked it into the uh, the water that um, that's in my Pyrex dish I think there's about 225 mils or something like that lukewarm water combined it all back into the bowl covered with saran wrap and you'd want to leave it at least an hour so we got on now then i got on with me char siu sauce got some garlic crushed hoisin sauce some tommy k in there some honey got a couple of tablespoons or so in there as well then to the main ingredient well one of the big ones the chinese five spice real signature toasted sesame oil, oil in there as well and then gave that a good mix reserved some uh, about three tablespoons for glazing today the protein i'm using is chicken thigh fillets which i flattened out didn't take much to be fair flatten them out just to make a more even cooking surface i must admit i need to sharpen my knife to make that easier Combine it with the remaining of the char siu mixture. Give that a good mix round. Left, uh, you want that mixture to rest about 30 minutes minimum. Um, and then I chopped up all and prepared all my uh, barmy sandwich ingredients. Some pate, coriander. There's the daikon and carrot um, pickling away there. Some uh, cucumber. Got rid of the skin because that's a bit too bitter. I don't like it. Got me some chilies light mayo i probably would go full fat next but i'm trying to lose some weight ubiquitous maggie seasoning there bit of soy and there's sriracha because i love it hot so um i was going to make a baguette um but some of the ingredients didn't arrive on time so i got this long baguette from asda wanted it crispy so one sixty in the other about 10 minutes tap it and once it sounds a bit hollow and crispy on the outside, it's ready. Roaring pan, um, griddle pan on the go there. And then you uh, chuck all your chicken on. Probably about, I don't know, up to about 10 minutes of cooking time. To be fair, the heat I used was, uh, because I used it on the wok burner, it was a little too hot. Um, got some decent glazing and caramelisation. A few burnt spots, Um but uh, using the temperature probe, it wasn't cooked perfectly through, so I will turn the gas down. I'll probably change the ring, to be fair, uh, next time so I can get more of an even cook uh, without it just being burnt. Then um, prepped the um, the butty there. We've got pate on one side, may on the other. Some Billy Bear-type ham. Um, got me chicken chopped up. You know, I left it about 10 minutes, left it to rest 10 minutes. And um, then I started to build So uh, the rest of the sandwich. So in goes the chicken, the char siu chicken, then the daikon. Got some spring onions in there. Now I love chilies, so I laid on the old red uh, Thai chilies, coriander, a bit more Maggie seasoning. Maggie seasoning is ubiquitous. Um, Chuck Tommy Sriracha, that is it. I hope you like this video. I'd like, you know, if you want to subscribe, please do so. Hit the bell for notifications. Really looking to try and grow this channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers.